Okay, here we go then. Here we go. We are live, folks. Welcome back. Here we go. Just met up with a uh, very nice gentleman, UPS 747 captain, who's uh, who came over to say hello and uh, bring me a flask of tea. How about that? You don't often get that. Again, can't emphasise how grateful we are to these uh, these pilots. Watch this. Tom's good, everything good. Okay, let me just move this down a little bit because uh, I don't quite need it as much as that 767. this the uh, the start of the afternoon departures out here last night around about six o'clock and it was uh, pretty spectacular another vantage point here at Alaska folks you can't get any better than this look at this backdrop instrument departure uh, heavy turn left okay folks um, so welcome back let me just see where we're at um, have we got uh, have we, oh I tell you what DC6 she has got her uh, I think we might be in for a treat here folks here's our man see you mate yeah. thank you what a lovely fella. Okay, now, the big question is, is do we wander up a little bit higher? Uh, the only problem, obviously, with that is that we've just got to carry everything, which is um, quite a trek up to the top of that ridge there, because I'm sort of in line with the, um, with the fence line here. Alternatively, I can walk along there, um, which, because at the moment I'm with the fence line, the, the fence line drops there, so I think it might be worth, I can literally carry all of this. Yes, sir. Should we have a go? I'm just going to watch that turn down there. Okay, GP, we're going to move. Copy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah. 
I am, yes. Yeah, are you here? I am. <laughs> That's better. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I'm like GP. Blooming heck. So, Everts. Oh, that was a uh, that was a proper uh, relocation. That was. Now, I want to make sure. Okay, it's a hundred percent. That's good. So. Preview, yeah, GP. Double check, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Um. Whew. Yeah. Les Donaldson, mountains look amazing, don't they just? What a contrast, look at that. Now, with any luck, this guy will fire his engines up and uh, possibly taxi right towards us. Let me just quickly make an adjustment here. Sorry. Huddersfield Tim. That shot would make an amazing poster. Big Mac. If we're all standing for the Queen, it's going to be a long night. You're right there. Okay, let me um, just quickly nip down up here. <laughs> Karina, give Jerry oxygen. Right, I'm going to leave that one in your shot, folks. Just stand by. Name. Ian. Ian. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> George. Sam Castriata. <sighs> Cyberfly. None you know. Mike Day. Sue Cruz. Stream. Stream. 
it's a mountain range more so than what mountain is directly behind the shot, isn't it? It's a mountain range. It's a great shot, yeah. Just behind this, folks. Evox Air Cargo, and you can see the DC-6 um, behind. He may be coming out. So there must there's obviously more than uh, one DC-6 in their, free, uh, in their fleet, unless uh, it went out while we were in uh, our meetings. And, um, Speedbird one, don't know about that. <laughs> Scott Shackross. Why is, is this such a busy hub for cargo aircraft? Scott, good question. And the answer to that is that these guys are not coming in, apart from obviously the UPS and, um, and uh, the FedEx aircraft. Not all of them, but a high percentage of the UPS and FedEx aircraft are coming in to, uh, to service the commerce market. Um, so they will be um, moving freight from from one aircraft to another, uh, breaking it down into smaller segments, and then uh, shipping that out, moving that out to uh, the different um, hubs around the country. Um, but these aircraft that you're looking at here primarily are on fuel stops. So if they're travelling from the east. Um, or if they're travelling to a certain destination, uh, they're full of freight, and therefore, as as they are full of freight, and thanks to Carl Walt for telling me this information earlier, if they are full of freight, then obviously there is a limit to how much fuel they can carry, and therefore they need to have a fuel stop. And this hub right here is the fuel stop um, right here in the middle of heaven uh, at Anchorage. Fiona Addison's got some amazing screenshots. Oh, that was, uh, that was hardcore. Oh, I can't wait to ditch these. It's horrible looking for these. I'd sooner just not have them all. Adam Ross, better view than Heathrow. <laughs> yeah, you all you can see in the background of Heathrow is stains. <laughs> the uh, Surrey Hills. Come on, give us a bit of credit. A London skyline, yes, of course. Wembley and all that. Yes. Uh, Darren. There you go. That's him. 100%. Lawrence Russell. This must be the best stream picture tea he has done. Just ticks all the boxes. This place just does tick all the boxes. This, doesn't it? Um, you know, if you're into if, if you're into your aviation, um, you've got to be into the 747. Um, interestingly enough, a couple of people have mentioned uh, how um, they're not um, so keen on the 747-8 in terms of the uh, uh, the variants of the 747. But come on, looking at that big beautiful queen right there, look at those gnarly big Gen X engines. How can you not love that? Good audio, folks. Everybody happy with audio? Here she comes. So GP just repeat. Radio 
animals do not make a noise, anything like that, of course. It's more like a, um, well, more like that that you just heard from that truck. So Korea 747 has, uh, oh, oh, got a nice, uh, nice little line up down the other end there at the moment. Look at that, Singapore. Singapore, um, another China and uh, Eva Air 777, Korean 747 also parked up down there, 747-8, she's just come in and uh, a Korean 777 about to depart. Now remember folks, these things have been freshly fueled up so um, they're pretty heavy. Which station are you with? Uh, uh, channel 2, KTU. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah what, TV or radio? What's that? TV or radio? Uh, TV, the airport toilet is somebody. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, no, no, happy to uh, happy to oblige. Just don't want you hanging around, that's all. Oh, no, so Do you want to come back? Around 6? Yeah, okay. yeah, just around about when it gets dark, when it starts to get dark. Fantastic. See you in a little bit, thank you. Okay, it's very nice, isn't it? Apparently, um, Alaska told them about us, so it's always very nice, isn't it? Nice little bit of uh, networking there. Oh, is that a, uh, is that... Um, a local TV station. I don't know what is the um, I don't know what is the benefit in terms of uh, taxiing that side or taxiing this side, but I can assure you, folks, <laughs> when you see one of those things coming towards us and they're literally that far away from us, I mean we're talking 75 yards, if that, uh, from this position. It'd be great if we could get some kind of communication with Evans, wouldn't it? Just to say, you know. Are you taking your DC-6 out today, or this afternoon? Um, I'd imagine that they are. They are an impossible. CK Game. Uh, Jess Humphreys. Yes, I know, Jess. The DC-6 light has gone off. The nav light. Margaret Burnett. And the nav light right on the top of the tail as well. Always great, isn't it? Uh, Margaret Burnett. Stunning scenery and jets uh, to watch. Uh, Helen Clapp. Jack Palmer, good evening guys, better late than never. Hope everyone is doing good, we are. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, a big shout out to everybody who's uh, braving the evenings there um, in the UK. And a big shout out to all our great friends here in America as well, who are enjoying um, their day, either at work. Uh, uh, another big shout out, of course, to the folks at Anchorage uh, International, Ted Stevens, not Ted Rogers, uh, Ted Stevens International, um, and uh, Megan and all her uh, wonderful team there uh, for uh, for welcoming us as well. Really appreciate their time and effort. And uh, you don't, it's not every day you turn up at, a, at an international airfield like this and get um, uh, and get the kind of views that we were uh, which the, that we were treated to earlier on today. And um, we cannot thank them enough. Hopefully, come back here in the summer. And, uh, and do much the same again. Uh, Richard Dunn, good evening. Ah, oh, Sam. 
no, I'm not a legend. I'm not a legend. Just a, a normal bloke doing his job. Uh, but um, with uh, thousands of people who are who are just as enthusiastic and um, mad about aviation as I am. Uh, Captain Scalmer, is Fantastic backdrop indeed it is in Ian Morrison. Uh, Ant W. Okay, we're just waiting for this um, Korean 777 to uh, to make his way out onto the active. He's, uh, I don't know what they're doing at the moment, if there's some kind of a runway inspection or what, but I'm hopeful that one of these 747s here are gonna, are gonna come out. Uh, Chris Penrose is a new member. Welcome, Chris. Of course, uh, tomorrow, folks, it's gonna be first class and super class members um, all day. Um, so uh, look forward to, look at that cacophony of engines over there, man. That's <laughs> nuts, isn't it? Just a gaggle of, uh, of jumbo engines. Look at that. I know it's only four, but it just kind of looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Um, okay, so there we go, as you can see. That aircraft dropping off um, commerce freight, as well as... Uh, as well as that one there. What a great deal. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to get... There's an eagle, there's an eagle. I heard him, I heard him. Is it? Cafe Pacific 747 freighter coming out, I think. It's an eagle, yeah? Slash crow. What, that big, that, that? Oh, it's, a, it's the eagle crow, is it? <laughs> oh, darn it. It's just the noise he made. It was kind of eagerly. <laughs> OK, here we go. Triple seven. There we go. Oh man, he must be in a holding pattern, that 740. We've got a 747 in the hold, GP. Or is he, no he's not, he's, no he's vectoring. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wouldn't be in a hold here, would it? <laughs> oh, okay. Lights are on. Clear takeoff. Don't look like a crow, man. It looks bigger than a crow. I'm not talking about the one flying around. <laughs> See the one in the tree? Is that the one you look? Is definitely a crow then. <laughs> Here we go. First triple seven of the afternoon session. Shout out in a second. 
fact, we had my favourite number, 46 new members in that apartment. Good day, Chris. 76794 P. Interesting, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's not coming out, is it? That uh, Cafe 747, he's obviously just come in. Wow, big gaggle of jets down there, man. Come on, DC-6, don't be shy. Are you, um, have we got, have we got anything on radar, Jilly, in terms of, like, anything interesting coming in? Buster Brown, EGPX, yeah. You know, just in case the, um, Dreamlifter might be, uh, gracing us with her presence. What, on filter? Filtered Dreamlifter. Oh, this is a Polar 747. Here we go. Oh, she's heavy, man. She's heavy. man. But wasn't it operating from Charlotte? From North Carolina? Right. Come on, mate. Don't be shy. Well, that MD 83 is not going anywhere for a while, is it? A big load of snow on his uh, horizontal. This, this kind of gives you some idea of what we're talking about, ladies and gents. I know it's only a small prop, but just gives you a good idea of, uh, of what we're talking about. We saw all of that with the um, with the Qantas logo on it and all that. Oh, look at that! He's gone. He's crossed the active, man. He's crossed the active. You see now. This is the shot that you're looking for uh, coming up in a second with this little fella. That sodding great big. Uh, 747 in front of him probably getting a little bit of um jet blast i would have thought a bit of wash from those engines he's got to kind of keep his distance a bit of social distancing going on there right come on girl straight across the runway towards us please uh take two Threshold coffee. Mm, mm, mm. Do one of them right now. Um, oh, I can't wait till I get me mincers done. Just nothing like the sight of a 747 from the front. I mean, yeah, look at that. Just look at that. Downtown um, Anchorage in the background there. Just about uh, 
the most amazing sight that you're ever going to see of a 747, is it not? Bald Eagle, uh, so then, engine start, AZ uh, is a new member, well, first class AZ. Uh, D Boots, Gwen M, in part of this uh, tonight, and watching with all the Big Jet TV family. Um, great to see you. <laughs> Bald Eagle Crow. Those uh, Gen X engines, aren't they? Fresh old coffee. Don't tease me, man. On it. Uh, SMIC or SMCK? Uh, welcome to First Class, uh, SMCK. Alex Ward is also a new member. Welcome, Alex. Um, Doug Jones, what a great day and good views. What a shot. And W. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Now, with any luck, she's coming straight towards us. Uh, Going to cross the active and uh, head straight towards us. Even the little ones are good from here, folks. generator there. I'm guessing that's because the fuselage is so long that it needs to um, control that vortex before it hits that um, wing leading edge of the wing root segment. David Andrew, Paul Skilling, LA Girl, Judy Bruch. Did we see him early? Um, yeah, big shout out to Ian, um, who uh, very kindly uh, swung by to say hello and um, dropped this flask of tea off. Not just a f any old flask of tea, but. Uh, what a legend. Way, man. He is, I think. Yeah! Get on, 
going to make that. Look how heavy this one is, man. switch back to this he's just holding it there he's just holding it there he's dead <laughs> this is so cool man oh my goodness me quick rudder check oh i can't go like 747 copy gp everything all right then so Trevor Russell cheating from Barbados. Rev H, awesome. Carly, HGC, Trevor Russell. Kevin Edmiston, is this real? <laughs> you do have to sometimes, um, with a backdrop like this, you do have to actually question the reality here, don't you? Singapore Airlines 747, she's moving. Folks, I've been dying to show you this, and you're gonna get it. Oh man, if you like jumbo jets, you're gonna love this. This is Omni Air, folks, coming out now. Uh, this triple seven, Omni Air. Uh, she, oh, oh, smell that. A bit better than the smell of the poo that was there when we got out of the truck earlier on. Mark, welcome back, Mark. Premium member. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was going to touch the lens. Jed Kenya. Did we get a pilot wave? I don't know if we did get a pilot wave. This is tricky, isn't it? You just want to, want to capture the whole beast in one shot, don't you? But then you do want to obviously try and get the, um, try and get the pilot wave. You have to sacrifice one or the other. And it was the pilot wave, I think, that I may have sacrificed there. But some people say. That we've got one. on the air, triple seven. Wow, look at this.
just keep coming, don't they? Asiana. That cargo lux, I think he's gonna uh, he's gonna taxi up this end. He's just coming, isn't he? You need to kind of uh... Ooh. Hang on a minute. 67 on the push. Stacking Cuddy Mia J. Good day to you, Michael K. Michael K. Um, Michael K. Obviously um, from the uh, Shakespearean times. Hi everyone. Hope ye are all keeping well. <laughs> Rob Ash Plant. Aidan Campbell. He did wave. Or gave you a thumbs up. Okay, apparently so. We did get a, uh, a wave or a thumbs up. Sorry if I missed that, folks. Wow, there you go. Well, I mean, I've got to say it, you know, thanks to Ian. Um, so obviously the UPS um, flight crews know of us, obviously. And, uh, I, you know, it just amazes me when, 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 when you get a, a 747 pilot come up to you and say thank you for... Uh, for keeping us entertained and all that, but you know, it's really, let's get things in perspective here, sir. You are the guys that keep us entertained. Um, and it's funny, isn't it? Because one of the things he did say, they are a damn sight louder uh, on the outside than they are on the inside. Um, and thank goodness they are. We wouldn't want to be seeing them if they were like electric or, uh, um, you know. Silence. Come on, DC6, we're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. You've got all the time in the world, mate. You've got all the tomorrow as well. United Pile Sword Services. Pile Sword? Pile Sword Services? Even the little 737s. Might have to go and grab me out in a minute, because it's... Uh, blue and cold on the back of my yeah, head. Actually, why don't you just put your hood on, you silly idiot? I can't see it. Can I? I'll see how um, I'll, I'll see how warm this twenty thousand millimeter thick uh, coat is. <laughs> it did make me laugh, man. Uh, obviously manufactured in China. Thank you very much indeed. Beautifully uh, finished, and um, but it does make me laugh that it says um, in vogue material. Okay, and uh, 20,000 millimetres. Uh, it's very thick, isn't it? <sighs> Tony Bones, thank you very much indeed. Neil Wichard, SJ, Melanie Lester. Uh, Paul Skilling, that 747 uh, that we just saw going out, or is it this one going to Louisville? Kentucky, I guess. Louisville is in Kentucky, I think. Um, Adam Ross. Yes, we got the wave. Thank you, Ian Morrison. Amy Lee, are there any pilots on here? Yep. Um, well, Amy, there is... Uh, generally, we had one on this morning. Um, Carl Wart. Um, big thanks to, uh, again, to Lee. And a uh, big shout-out to all the crews out there as well. Of course, um, it's Amy's husband, who's... Uh, who's uh,
other UPS 747 pushes back. to be honest with you. Polar maybe? National? <laughs> Who knows man? That's oh, Western Global, is it? What, 747? Oh, this is definitely a flipping eagle, this one, look. Oh, look at that. That ain't no crow. They were F-22 Raptors, were they? Oh, okay, not F-35s, right. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that was a beautiful... I told you it was an eagle. Is that not the one that was in the tree? Oh, well, like that. <laughs> oh, sport, sport. It's gone around the back of the bike sheds, hasn't it? Oh, here we go. another position further down the runway folks we're going to go there tomorrow I think um, which is a right slap bang at the end of the runway Another Kalita 747 touching down. Every time I look right, there's another jumbo jet. Oh, look at the tails, man. Look at the tails down there. Uh, yo, Kennedy, that UPS was going to where he lives in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Helen Parker. Loving the facial expressions of the gentleman. Yeah, some of them um, do have that sort of like little, little smiley face kind of thing going on, depending on um, on some of the, um, like that one over there. It's got little lips that, I mean, you can't really see it, can you? Can you see? Okay, come over here, mate. Okay. for workhorse.
to China Airlines, is it? Coming out. Oh, no, she is, sir. They are firing her up. Yeah, they're firing her up, all right. Yo, Kennedy, welcome back. Uh, first class member with a star, I have to say. CDN Shark is a new member. Welcome, CDN. Oh, one up. Here we go. Here we go. Engine start. Ross CT. Harming for scanning. Take care. Anthony Roberts, this is off the Richter scale in awesomeness. I think you're right, really, to be honest with you, Anthony. Kevin Ebdiston, you need a time here, timeshare here. That would be cool, man. Uh, Amy going to be here probably till around about 6 p.m. local, I would have thought. Uh, somewhere around about there. Another three hours, we're thinking. Paul Smith off his bed in the shop. Aidan Campbell, is anyone in the UK going to stay up until 3am? Fair play if you are, I've got to say. Jilly is. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy Humby, the last I heard, the moose count was two. At the moment, the moose count is two and one eagle so far. Three bogeys and a birdie. And a crow, sorry, and a crow, yes. <laughs> Got a good picture with the, uh, with the moose, actually. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Not with it, but... Uh... The babby one. The 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 um the the calf. Oh, we get a sim. Yeah. No 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 no. Darren took a picture of it. A picture with me with it, not with it. But. Raptors going out again.
747 main gear is actually retracted quicker than an A330, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That's that's I asked him to email us at contact. Yeah. Thanks for the contact and thanks for the offer of um, a ride in his float plane, did you say, Jenny? Obviously, float plane, um, being on one of the uh, lakes out here. I think this is um, one of the biggest um, float plane um, hubs um, in America or something like that. Isn't it? Some Oh yeah, there he is, look, there he is. Oh, look at that, Chili. He's got a mousey. No. He's not a baby, man. That's a big bird. Mind you, I don't know. Now that ain't no crow. <laughs> Not from where I come from, anyway. He doesn't look very bald. Looks like he's got feathers on his head. <laughs> Maybe he's got one of them comb-overs. Let me go and get me out. Oh, I see what you mean, Jilly. I'm sorry, you're looking at the moose picture, not the video that I'm... Sorry, man. Well, one thing we're missing at the moment is the, uh, is the MD-11. So come on, let's be having you.
Uh, Richard Fleer, Denali range. That's the Denali range, is it? Beautiful this time of year. Snow draped mountains. Beautiful, man. Absolutely um, stunning. Yes, it is. It's a 737 going out of. Uh, He's landing. Is he landing? Blimey. That's a late touchdown. It's been a long runway. It was a golden eagle, was it? Well, yeah, but with his when his when his wings were extended, he was very golden. Texture like sun. Come on, mate. It's mousy down here. Big juicy one as well. He has got a bleeding big head. Just um, a long way away, isn't he? He's a big old bird, mate, I'm telling you. Well, we're just, yeah. Oh, yeah, we, hey, what did I just ask for? An MD-11 and we have one on push. Yeah, yeah. I might phone Everts and just ask them. Illy. Is that worth a, is that worth a go, Dingy? Just give Everts uh, Just phone them up live on the show. See if they go if they're using it, yeah. We're from this position as well, and he, uh, just so long as they don't um, use the intersect over there. But you never know; might get a, might get a little bit of a flash from the uh, from the pilots. Oh, here we go! Hey, is that a joke? Wow, yeah, I can believe that. Jack Honeycutt is a new member. Welcome, Jack. Right, right in front of us, like we had just now with that uh, 747. Uh, this MD11 is probably going to intersect across right there in front of us, but um, we're going to get an MD11. Probably get a couple, I would have thought, before the end of the day. Uh, Petros, 7 left, 25 right is about 3 kilometres. Uh, inward from seven right which is the longest runway here at 12.4 kilometers that's why it seems that there are late landings on that side right okay 12.4 kilometers long Ripping in. really i've got you though petros i i can understand that farid good afternoon to you Captain Rock God 82 is a new member. 
very warm welcome to you. Lenny D. Uh, you can view six different mountain ranges, uh, ranges including the Chugach Mountains, uh, Talkeetna Mountains, uh, Tordrilo Mountains, uh, Kane Mountains, Aleutian, Aleutian Mountains, sorry, uh, range, and finally the Alaska Range, which includes Mount Miski. McKee. Mount McKee. Michael Gatt. Yes, it happened. I've seen the report. Thanks. It's my first comment here. Is that the one about the uh, 727 um, having an, um, um, a fish strike? <laughs> Is that what that was? Fish strike from a, um, obviously a, a spooked eagle that was carrying its lunch and um, dropped it due to an heritage. Uh, heading straight at it. on that Atlas Air 747. She's um, Captain Rock going to love it. Uh, Jammy331, loved the show the other week in the storm at Heathrow, some real good landings and some great pilots. It was a great watch and made the news all over. Thank you, Jammy331. Magnetos? No, of course they wouldn't do, would they? Because they're uh, turboprop. Stupid. So that was the uh, was that the resultant effect of that fish strike uh, with that 727. Um, <laughs> Darren Edmonton, it's real. It is real snow. Yes, indeed. Okay, that Atlas Jumbo has now um, the uh, anti-collisions have now been turned off. So. She was on radar, she's no longer on radar. Okay. I mean, look at that shot down there, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? One, two, three, four, five, seven, seven forty sevens in a row. Bit of a cold start over there, isn't it? <laughs> Jeff Anderson sounds like engine checks on that King Air. Yeah, definitely um, something going on, isn't it? It's uh, maybe just um, I don't know if that's a sort of standard procedure before they go out. Just um, temperature checks, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they've had new parts fitted or something. show you this on there he is uh, not getting a very good shot of him there oh is that the magpie coming to give him a bit of grief 
Isn't it funny, eh? Isn't it funny? How the little, uh, the little ones, that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a magpie, yeah? And magpies are not small. Yeah, that's a big bird, mate. What are you going to do then, John? Well, you grab his, you grab his tail feathers, and I'll, uh, I'll jump on his back. <laughs> yeah, he knows how that crazy does it. Go on, Steve. Go on, Steve. Go on. I'll run over here. I'll distract him. I'll distract him. Look over here. Over here. Over here. Okay. Go on, John. Go on, John. Go on. <laughs> nah. He's not interested. He's just not interested, is he? <laughs> oh, that was an engine uh, check because he's turned round and gone back over there. Okay then. Interesting that. Um, they were magpies, but they made different, they've got a, a different call, haven't they? A different tweet. GN man, young bald eagle, methinks, yeah, very possibly. Two-pronged magpie attack. Lee Shand also uh, saying a juvenile bald eagle. CK Gaming, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely um, an engine test. Uh, the um, The DC-6 was um, was parked up over there, well, doing engine run checks uh, earlier on up this end. And it's a great shame because if we had been here, we would have heard all of that, but um, hey. Oh, that's what uh, was making all that smoke, I think. And that does sound like 47. Probably a 400, I would imagine. Um, Another Atlas Air 747 pushing back as we speak there. Cold start on a CF6. to wait very long, do you? Are, uh, are they on Twitter, Jilly? Everts. Just wonder if it's worth... Um tweeting them and just say hey guys we're uh, we're waiting <laughs> um. Just lose your edge, okay? Oh no, 
now it's done it again. Has it done it again? Oh, mate, it's done it again, hasn't it? Oh, my goodness, mate. Is that that charger lead? coming back again. Well, yeah, it just seems to be a, uh, a random fault here. Yeah, there you go, you see. Seven jumbos and an adding to it. Okay, so he's happy now. I think he's happy now. Sorry, GP, go comms again. Phone just randomly cut off then. Um, that was showing. Oh. Can you hear me, Julie? Okay. I, 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 it's a very peculiar... Okay. We just have to... Uh, we just have to go with it for now. That just just dropped. It just... Yeah, maybe. I'm going to put a warmer on it. Put a little warmer. Hot, hot, hot water bottle on it. They were tested in, like, you know... Arena Roebuck, that one I think, off to Chicago. Uh, off to Chicago. Oh, yeah, no, it's charging now. 20% now. Very peculiar, isn't it? Blix Prop 747. <laughs> Waiting on that um, that MD11 there, folks. But in the meantime, we'll. Uh, We'll take a 747, shall we? Oh! There's something starting up over there. However, 
in the meantime, much smaller scale folks but uh, contacted by the folks at Cologne the other day and um, they want us to come out there and do another nighttime show with them um, focusing on their uh, their freight hub operations oh, here we go here we go Now we've gone out of the red and in the green. We have nothing in this gear to ruin a bed. Seventeen for Mustang, loving the sound. Here we go, folks. First try jet of the day, or is it? No, it's not. <laughs> there must be an engine run uh, happening on that jumbo because the uh, access steps, unless unless it's in hot icky usually. It's a great, uh, it's a great shot. The MD11 um, rotation shot is just fantastic. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, fantastic. That is very appropriate. Anchorage International Airport is um, our 747th uh, follow. We are following uh, 747 um, people and um, Anchorage is our 747th. Uh, that's very appropriate. HGC engine on the tail always scares. Okay. I think the uh, MD-11 was the first to first aircraft to feature the um, split scimitar winglet. Definitely engine noises going on over there. FedEx, triple seven. Long. How long is that? It can't be short enough. Michael K flew on an MD11 from Heathrow to Rio 20, uh, 2004. Who would have that been with? Uh, Swiss, possibly? 
weren't that many uh, passenger operators uh, of the MD-11, was there? Um, Sarah Gill. I just have a curious mind with the temperatures these planes must endure and you uh, they must add something to the fuel well most definitely um, additives to the fuel uh, antifreeze um, is one of those components in there um, but uh, down here on the ground is nothing compared to minus 60 uh, degrees up at uh, cruising altitude around about 38,000 feet you can get temperatures as low as uh, minus 60 degrees which is crazy which again is a massive testament to the um, to the folks that um, develop these fuels uh, Michael Barber no the MD-11 is not known as the TriStar it's a tri-jet but the TriStar is a standalone aircraft which uh, has the name TriStar. Tom Tripp, what is the benefit? What are the benefits of a tail engine? Well, um, extra power um, to uh, to carry the weight. But really, um, yeah, you ask yourself that question because um, obviously uh, super twins like the Triple Seven and uh, and so on and so forth. What was the actual thought process behind that tail engine? Um, good question. I'd love to know um, if anyone has that information. That would be good. The reason why? I mean, obviously, you think about the um, the um, the thought process behind it would obviously be um, that extra bit of power gives you more range. I would imagine, possibly, but then more range, more fuel burn. Uh, I was uh, I was under the understanding, but only when I was a kid that the apparently the third engine was um yeah Good one, let's listen to that. sense but then yeah. Stephen Sampson I don't think there is much better place in the world I was saying to um, Megan um, during the lunch break that uh, I really don't think there is any better place in the world in terms of uh, content and scenery.
，这这这里一带。几批 ？OK。Did you see whether or not they?、Uh... That's that's crazy. We haven't, no. Okay. Varig used them a lot. Adam Campbell, yes. Varig MD11s. Here we go, MD11 folks. Coming at ya. Oh, she's noisy as well, man. I thought when that when I was a kid that the the tail engine was only used for departures and then switched off during flight, but I was wrong. Also, that it's a、um, a yoke control column, Boeing esque. Yeah, it's sort of like Embraerish、uh, control column from memory. We can't follow anyone else. <laughs> Even if Her Majesty the Queen said, "Could you follow us, please?" Like, no, sorry, ma'am. Got to wait till we stop following someone else before, because、uh, we are、uh, we're following the real Queen. If you know, of course, you are the real Queen, Your Majesty. But,、uh, Disappears off behind the tree line. I quite like that. I think.、Um, yeah, I think he might have.、Uh, I don't know about gone tech, but. Flushing something through, or、uh... this is anti-collisions back on again. It's definitely, definitely doing something with that jet. But his APU's not on.、So.
hit. I'm hearing a. Uh, Simon Barrett, 38 747s in service for UPS. Well, um, 17th Mustang, indeed. Uh, oh, Delta MD 11s as well, and that would that's coming from Delta Phil. And more power, of course, in the climb. Lufthansa as well. There's something going on in it. It's definitely compressed air by the sounds of that. Mark Wallace, American, had the first MD11 into London Heathrow. Triple seven, folks. It's like they're flushing through some compressed air. That's definitely compressed air. I wonder if that's the starter that they're... Uh... Wow. L1011 Tri-Star indeed. And uh, just in case you're wondering when the next 747's coming out, I'll give it a couple of minutes. <laughs> Curtis C64 Commando. Everts on its way in. Wow! Curtis... Okay. That's a bit weird. How come it's cut off then? Scooby, um, still working on the rocket launches at the moment. Going to get onto that. We've um, we've had a, a request to um, complete a filming application, which is just a formality uh, with the guys at NASA. So yes, we will be doing the rocket launch at some point during the summer. Uh, the trouble with something like that is the logistics of planning, because it's not like they've got a diary. With, with dates of, of exactly when those rocket launches are going to be. It is literally, um, you don't know whether you're going to be successful or not. So like I said to them, we'll uh, interlink it with, a, with another uh, trip out to, uh, to the US. Oh, what are you doing? Alex Hughes, what's the difference between the MD-11 and the DC-10? Uh, length, um, probably a little bit more power with the engines, I'd imagine. And uh, the uh, winglets as well, of course. But more length than anything else is the um, difference between the MD-11 and the DC-10. Of course, DC being Douglas Corporation and the um, MD-11 McDonald Douglas, uh, but Boeing are the um, were the uh, 
Boeing took over or merged with, um, well, became the major uh, stakeholders, I believe, um, with the uh, Douglas Corporation. And uh, took that uh, airframe under its wings. Forgive the pun. I believe. I think it was a 300. Okay. Oh, okay, TCC. Yes, indeed, of course. Glass cockpit on the MD-11. Uh, DC-10, the early DC-10s, the early variants of the DC-10s uh, were uh, cable operated, I believe. Uh, Fly-by-wire coming in later with the, uh, the MD-11. So, yeah, the um, firmware and all that kind of stuff with the MD-11, far more advanced than its, uh, than its predecessor, the DC-10. giant hoover is it Yeah, it's a much more modern aircraft compared to the DC-10, of course. Still DC-10s flying, though. Give them their due. It's almost sounds like a... The starter winding up and then um, expelling the uh, the um, the compressed air. Some kind of compressed system, pressurised air. That is definitely it sounds like it's trying to wind something up as well. Oh, are you winding me up, son? Oh, blimey! Get the living daylights out of me. Uh, we don't want airpods. We don't want airpods, thank you very much, you do. Hello? Hey, look, Delta. So I flew with one. in row 11 um, on the right hand side of a 737 uh, 900. The 800 was all right but um, on the 900 there's a, uh, a sodding great big um, partition wall there which is um, gives you about three inches of leg room. Uh, Alan Robbins, no civil DC-10s flying, only the military tanker variant KC-10 extender. Uh, have uh, FedEx or UPS completely done with their uh, DC-10s then? I thought that um, either uh, UPS or FedEx, one of the two, were um, operating uh, DC-10s. A very small number of them, but... Uh, uh, see an office, yes. Uh, Delta to Seattle, Karina Roebuck. I think that might be the um, the flight that I'm flying back on on Friday, isn't it, Jilly? Kind of works that way. 16.04. Do what? Yeah, there we go. Crazy, 
but uh, these guys experienced some massive difficulties during COVID. Um, you know, were talks of them completely going under, but it uh, looks like they survived. Just want to see them uh, more active on the passenger front as well, of course. I think, uh, I think so many airlines, Virgin Atlantic being one of them, and possibly even British Airways, um, utilising their freighter operations um, to, uh, to help them survive during the pandemic. So, here he goes again. So, if you missed the first MD11, folks, here comes another one. It's, uh... Oh, she's moving. She's moving. Two sub paragraph E. 
Jet A1, ladies and gentlemen. Runway inspection. Oh yeah, this is a push and start. This is a push and start. If you missed it earlier on, folks. I do hope that this guy's going to come straight across the active towards us.
all the way over here, please. Come on. I think you'll find that she will, and the reason I'm saying that is because one of her sister ships is waiting right there, blocking that taxiway. So here we go, folks.
Luke C, yes. There it is. NAC. 747 Freedom. Used to operate DC6s. It's an old NAC DC6 over the other side of the airfield. Another MD11 moving into position. pick it up for you, does it, Jilly? Are you serious, like yesterday? That's funny, man. So, well, <laughs> if you want a noise cancelling headset, this is the one to get then, isn't it? The ultimate test. Jockey boy saying DC6 due in at 5.16. Okay. How many uh, DC6s are they operating? Trevline, absolutely magnificent. Karina, don't forget he turned his lights on. I don't know, did he turn them on for us? Way of taking the dogs for a walk. Who's taking who for a walk there? <laughs> a run, should I say? Okay, so um, Jockey Boy, Jockey Boy's saying that uh, DC6 
due in at 5.16. Gary Goodchild. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you can sleep well tonight, folks, with uh, Dream of Jumbo Jets. And you're going to get a load more tomorrow as well, because we're back tomorrow with our members only, uh, with um, first class and super class members only, folks. Asiana moving, Matthew Yuen saying. And, well, there was a big clutch of DC, uh, MD-11s down there earlier on, wasn't there? Now there's, there's just one left. Look at that backdrop, man. Look at it. I thought Seattle was amazing. Karina Robot, Polar Air, seven minutes away. Oh, I just feel Tim, that's fantastic, thank you. River, uh, thank you, absolute pleasure. There is your Asiana 747 on the move. Check on the uh, on the bond in a minute, GP. I think. <laughs> What's our runtime so far? Wow! Look at this. like that to it's almost like off oh, the audio is starting to pick up a little bit more now you can hear these things uh, thundering off from the from the start it's the one we saw just now right in front of us Um, DC-6 up on radar at all.
yeah? Efforts, yeah? Okay. ETA 17, 15, something like that? Okay, perfect. Okay. Aidan Campbell, DC-6, no longer on flight radar. Wow. Fighters are active today. What's that? Oh, 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 I'll tell you what we do have. We do have the DC-6 opposite us with her anti-collision on, on the top of her tail. Come on, girl. You know you want to go and pick some cargo up or deliver it or do whatever you want to do. Just come out and, or even if you want to have an engine run, just come on out and show yourself. Carl Roller, this is the 747 Capital. Never seen so many. No, Carl, you're absolutely right. Um, it's the world's biggest petrol station for, um, for uh, aviation, I'm guessing. David Bennett. Welcome to Premium David. Sailor Mike Beach King Air just landed on runway seven. Thank you. I think this might be another one coming out as well. Come on, Come on. bring yourself out here. Michael K, thank you. Fresh old coffee. F22 Raptors indeed, Danny Grant. Uh, Mark Roberts confirming that. This would be the icing on the cake, mate, if that DC-6 came out now. Because there isn't a better position, uh, really, uh, on the airfield to catch it, I don't think. Elmdorf Air Force Base, yes where those raptor, raptors are operating out of. I think she's, uh, I think she's back to coming again for another engine test. Uh, 
uh, TCC, I think that's as far as I can uh, zoom into that Raptor, I'm afraid. Salem, I think that, uh, I think that's 747, that's the 747 uh, on radar for Ontario, California. Uh, Singapore Airlines uh, joint venture um, with DHL, isn't it? With the uh, hybrid 777s, I think three of them on order. Um, seeing the uh, artist's impression. What is interesting is that that MD83 is also... Um, Got her uh, anti collisions on. Photo bomb. Three, two, one. Bosh. Yeah.
Another train coming. <laughs> Working first class, another train coming. And Sarah Bassett upgraded her membership to first class. Thank you, Sarah. Great to see you. Um, of course, join us tomorrow. Our superclass members. Still got his flashes on, but I'll be honest with you, if he was gonna be uh, if he was gonna fly. it is Matt she's um, she's had her uh, anti collision on for quite some time so Seven touching down on seven. Is that Cafe Pacific coming out? Also, um, Korean. Thing is, just 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 don't wouldn't hear that. Uh... Oh, wait a second. Did I just hear the little flutter of prop blades there? Opportunity. saying Air Atlantic A340 600 inbound two hours 20 minutes Russ CT all the best take care Linda Sherman Vicky Denning Jenna P
flipping heck. He's gone up quick. Wow. Insanely fast. are aching but come on get yourself out oh it's gone off in it oh Esther Leacock yes I was just saying about um, what, how great it is to see Cafe Pacific so active or well, continuing to be active if anything it was their, uh, their freighter division which uh, saved them um from disaster. Same with Virgin Atlantic and so many other airlines operating their passengers uh, for freight. But he did not know she's fine. Obviously, uh, air traffic control are fully aware of the um, the activities uh, of the uh, of the local air force base, and uh, of course they just work in unison together. Well, in terms of like you know um, airspace, I'm guessing uh, that's why I think that uh, all of these aircraft that you see departing here uh, bank left um, rather than going right because I think it's restricted airspace. Uh, over on the other side. People see, is that the working 727? Where, where? Where is there a 727? Eve Hosker, the US Air Force Strato tank, uh, on finals into the Air Force Base. Okay, well, we should be able to catch that.
see the fuel is already uh, getting into position to fuel those jets. That Polar Jet fueling uh, unit has just arrived. Jill Blakeney, is there any airport that you really want to go to the haven't been to yet? Uh, to be honest with you, we've talked about Narita so many times and I want to go there, but it's just connectivity. That's the uh, potential issue there. Um, yeah. Peter Crane, great to wake up and enjoy Big Jet TV with breakfast. Time for work, however. Uh, all the best, Peter. Have a good day at work. Andrew Paytech, A34600, is some aircraft, yeah. I uh, don't know where they'll put her, whether it'll be at this end, probably be down the other end, I would imagine. Uh, but again, it's probably a fuel stop. They very quickly emptied out that... Um, James Vincent, thank you. Especially because of uh, weight turbulence from the big boys, or if the US Air Force pilot isn't talking with uh, anchorage. Um, I'd imagine that uh, I'd imagine that the uh, the military. Uh, there's, there she is now. There's your KC-135. No doubt uh, carrying out exercises during the day, refueling those Raptors or uh, whatever it might be doing. where any potential situations might arrive with uh, that crossing the uh, the path of the outbound aircraft from here but of course again like I say that's why they turn so quickly the outbound aircraft from Anchorage
Russia and our inland America, the aircraft refueling Anchorage. When I get my table tennis sneakers from Japan, they always go through Anchorage. Table tennis sneakers? That's a very specific sneaker, isn't it? Uh, didn't know they made sneakers for specifically for table tennis. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, kind of makes sense. And, um, watch work at the same time as Shane Mayer. And my modest eye digi dude. There is pro there probably is a 727 there until recently there was a 727 under still flying in Alaska. That would be a pleasure, wouldn't it? To see a 727 um, but so kind of operational in the UK. John Dufton, some picture postcard visuals today, indeed. Um, Dylan McTurk's Funchal or St. Martin on your to-do list? Can't do St. Martin, uh, Dylan. Um, I think we'd have a problem with uh, frequency in, uh, in, um, in uh, St. Martin. Uh, Funchal is just the uh, imagery, isn't it? More than it, more than the actual aircraft themselves. I think it's more the uh, the imagery, not very much big stuff going into Funchal. Oh, interesting to see uh, Polo's got his nose open. Look. Uh, see something in there? Maybe a long piece, oversized freight. John Walton, the next generation music. Now. Oh. Of course, we've been inside and seen the um, how that nose operation works with um, our friends at Cargo Logic. Uh, Many moons ago, that was, uh, when they were operating the 747-8. John Tain upgraded to first class. Thank you, John. This from China Southern 777. Just touching down now. On seven. Jumbo jet. Ready to do battle. Two five, is it? Fifteen or thirty-three. Are we on three three or one five? Is it? Ooh. Ooh. I can hear props. I hear props. It doesn't sound very turbo proppy to me. That sounds more. Um... Okay. Oh no, it is turbo prop. Sorry. 
think. Yeah, that's terrible. Betty Shiflet. AWAX. AWAX, folks. Always looks so um, uncomfortable, doesn't it? <laughs> Certainly very tail heavy, you would have thought, but no. What's that, GP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you found it on the... Yeah, I see. That's what might be... Uh, maybe what we're hearing. The what now? It's that woman who was um, who was running with her dogs. I used to fly with me old man back in the day. Of course, the uh, days. Oh, yeah. engines all day, man. Yeah, it's great. Isn't it? The variety of stuff here is just awesome. But just... You couldn't do it every day. I mean, I know it sounds um, it sounds good, but you don't want to you don't want too much of a good thing if you know what I mean. Want to come back and do it again.
Come on, huh? DC6 about 23 minutes out. Well, we're going to see the DC6, folks. Uh, just like, um, I mean, we're talking about the same sort of um, scenario as we had yesterday when I was out here. Um, Crew and robot Matt Kalita off to Chicago. when it disappears off behind uh, landscape or uh, mountains or trees or buildings or whatever it might be. Hearn Hunter. Mike James, DC6 started a descent and vectoring towards from the north. I am Utrecht, son of Utrecht. Father of Utrecht. Grandfather of Utrecht. And uh, I have a cat called Utrecht. There's a lot of imagination. Chris Johnson. Andrew uh, Playtech. Is that a beach I think it might be on. CK Gaming. Still out watching. Fair play. Northern Air Cargo used to fly 737-200s with gravel kits uh, for unpaved runways. Not sure if they're still flying them by Digi doing so. Gravel. Gravel kits or gravel... Gravel kits, huh? Gary O'Rourke. Uh, it's not Elmdorf Tower. No, I don't think so. Um, Oh, unless, of course, no, if you mean Elmdorf uh, Air Force Base, then uh, negative. It's a little bit further up than that. TCC off to UK will be too tough to post. Yeah, keeping you up, man. Really keeping you up. Job. into consideration but uh, two runways. CK Gaming. 
Sorry. I think he's had enough of this one. This one. Right, mate, you'll go through the gate. If that tower is northeast, it's Elmdorf. Um, when you talk about Elmdorf, are you talking about Elmdorf, the city, or 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 uh, the airbase? Because the airbase is far further left. Um, is he talking about that tower there? LKY. Ewan, Lukie Ewan, I think it is. A very warm welcome to you as a new member. And we've got John Pryor, of course. DC6 should be not too far. times in the last couple of weeks, hasn't it? Or, um, let's just hope that we might see it tomorrow. Beechcraft 1900 powered by two prep point in Canada. PT6A turbo prep engine. Not any more, you know. He's blown him up, man. See the entire fleet today, aren't we? <laughs> Chris Hughes, still watching in the UK. Fair play. 20 past one in the morning. It is, whoa, it's Thursday, isn't it? In the UK now. DCK, DC6, 10 minutes out. 64 years old, wow. Nicholas Thomas. Kalita does literally saturate Anchorage. Great description. John Walton, the next generation music. Vicky Denny. Wait! 
Well, Vicky, uh, I think we saw the uh, all-white um, um, Kalita at uh, Los Angeles some time back. Sorry, Your Majesty. Looking really smart. Don't know if that's a new acquisition. Position or what, but wow,
goes again. Oh. <laughs> it's literally ah, oh, isn't it? Straight to the right one. What a surprise. Are you there? Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Golden Bennett. Okay, there we go. What's happening? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ports are still pinging. All right. Oh well, it's just another one of those uh, unexplained flipping. Um, situations in it is it done is it gone is it finished okay glad you're there the ck gaming cannot miss the dc6 we won't miss the dc6 because it's got a taxi up here so don't worry andrew peter Even the 737s look uh, pretty spectacular from this location. It is landing. So St. Patrick's Day now. I think. Well, today. It's Thursday there now, isn't it? saying that is not this is there's nothing absolutely nothing around here uh, indicating that it is St. Patrick's Day to be honest with you um, tomorrow whatever it is no 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 yeah New York's more uh, St. Patrick's Day isn't it no okay Boston right yeah 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 just leave it there
We have a uh, we have put a call into Everts to uh, see whether they're going to be operating their um, DC6 tomorrow. Probably at like four o'clock in the morning or something stupid like that, isn't it? Oh blimey! Oh see ya. This is a beautiful old aeroplane, folks. Yep, it certainly will be, Stanley. Mm -mm. What a lovely smell. Well, it's not here. It doesn't actually get light here until about uh, about eight o'clock. TV channel turning up in half an hour. Or... Look at that for a shot, folks. It'll be a sad day when these aircraft are retired. If we listen very carefully, we might hear her uh, hear her engines. We'll be right back. Listen to those radios. we've been waiting for. Straight into a jumbo. Thank <laughs> you. 
And here comes the TV channel now. Chris Horsfield sees a McDonald's sign in. Recently, well, not so much recently uh, converted, but a newly or, or a seven three seven that was being delivered to DHL, um, and she's actually uh, parked down the other end of the airfield at the moment. Very interesting. Still with her test range on her. Um, still see her there in the distance to wait for this, uh, this DC-6 to move into position. Jockey Boy, that's made my day. Well, I've got to be honest with you, Jockey Boy, it kind of has made mine as well. I mean, obviously, what we've seen today, the positions we've been in, the aircraft that we've seen, um, just everything that we have seen, uh, that has sort of like, from an old school perspective, and from um, my love of aviation going way back to that era, of course, my old man flying the Constellations, uh, that really um, sort of like, um, almost brings a lump to the throat in a funny sort of way to, um, to see those aircraft still operational. Steve say 95% of the US population lives within five miles of a McDonald's. Five miles actually seems quite far away, to be honest. Can we see one in the distance there? Does somebody saw a... There's the, um, there's the inlet. Where's the outlet? <laughs> oh, my good God. Oh, hello. Is that MD Evelyn doing... What's that all about? Is he departing? He's going around, is he? What's shit all about? Not very happy, Bunny. Maybe, I don't know. Highly unlikely. Oh. Oh, really? Well, wow, look at that turn, man. Yeah! man oh maybe a bit of a rookie pilot oh, uh, off center line Margie Air Jody Bush and Christmas morning. Oh, 
really? So there is. Couldn't see that for a little bit. In your own time. So, um, slight predicament, GP, because these guys are going to want to do a, um, a show at um, uh, um, an interview at six o'clock for the local KCLA or whatever it is, um, Channel News, the um, now the FedEx MD11 has to get in behind the FedEx triple. Uh, Roberts, no Airbus, don't need permission to land it. I don't know if that's a joke or um, or um, we had a couple of A330s, one with Vamos earlier on, uh, the 300. Well, I don't know what you would call I'm not you know what I mean. Or do I? see where he wants to do it um, so I don't know because obviously I, he, he needs a shot doesn't he but I just want to I don't want to miss anything is what I'm saying I mean if something if I'm halfway through the interview and something starts pushing back I'm like mate I'm gonna have to stop you there um, let me go and have a word with him St yeah 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 stand by folks stand by yeah no if, if it does it does and uh, obviously the uh, the members, the members come first. Robert Maynard is a new member. Welcome, Robert. Hold on, let, let me just grab this one. This is the um, <laughs> natural habitat. Going to run down a hole in a minute. <laughs> you got any A? <laughs> Engine cows and a um, lot of engine cows. <laughs> Blimey. A spare engine cow. Man. Where? On the what? Oh, right, I'm with you, yeah. Let me just uh, let me just um, lock it out on here for a second. What? What? Dead horse. Yeah, no, no, no. There, there, there was somebody this morning saying that that was that aircraft going to dead horse. Carlos went to Spina. I thought Carlos went to bed about three hours ago. I swear he was, uh... oh, oh, okay. I did you do, is that an old FedEx 747? 
Mm-mm. You know what? I think you might be right there. That is a FedEx uh, colour scheme, isn't it? But it had white engine cows with FedEx. So, uh, it's Western Global, we know that, which I was quite surprised at. I thought that Western Global were only operating uh, MD-11s. So um, I'm going to quickly go and have a word with this fella while the 747 tax is out. Don't go too far, folks. You know, it does make you wonder why they call it Dead Horse. Is that because um, the, the town started with a fella who is, is, um, he, had to, he had to make a hut there because his horse died? Oh, really? Less than 50 people and a dead horse. jumbos might look a little bit old they still fly like birds beautiful I think before long we're gonna have one of these jumbos got that far one um, with his uh, APU running he was the first one in of that bunch there. His dirty tail, man. Fifty dirty tail.
was that MD-11 that went around. William Patrick. Take care, William. Mark Mika. Uh, haven't seen any legacy 747s, all 400s and 800s, of course. Um, but yeah, legacy meaning the um, the older 200 variant. I think that's what he's meaning. Is that is that right? The legacy would be um, would be the. Uh, the 100s or 200s. Oh. No. What's that, GP? What's that? What's that? Yeah. Oh, don't say that. Right. Yeah. Was it a bit? Was it a bit unstable on the uh, at uh, on the on the terminal then? Oh, okay. With no no surprise, to be honest with you. Um, seeing as 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 where we were, kind of made sense. Well, I'll tell you what, we have been lucky with the weather, but I wouldn't mind if we were hit by a snowstorm. A brief one. Be fine by me. Eva Air 7 just touched down. No, no problem, of course. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you can tell him I'm, uh, uh, I'm happy with that. Myself talk, uh, talking, a fella had it had it running on his motor and on his phone. Did this fella down here? He said, he said, great shot. Do you want a sticker, fella? Fella, do you want a sticker? Do you want a sticker? I know he's been saying it. Is that is that is that the real big pub? Like, did you say? What's his name?
<laughs> Here we go. Copy that, GP. This, uh, this dash eight that's uh, pushing now. Do you know what I mean? Mark Meek has got two stickers. Good for you. <laughs> nice one, Mark. Colin McCann, LA girl. LA girl wants a sticker too. Well, you can claim a free sticker, folks, if you want a free sticker. Um, just head to the app and uh, scroll down to the free sticker and that will give you um, details on how to claim a free sticker. Send a self-addressed envelope. There's one fella who's someone from, from America who sent me um, a self-addressed envelope and I wasn't sure about the stamps because it looked like the stamps just had pictures on them. I don't know if they were actually official stamps. I don't know if he's going to get them um, or if they're going to turn up at his house and or, or the post office are going to put something through his letterbox to say, mate, you've got to come down to the post office and pay the postage. Apologies if that is the case, but there's, uh, there's nothing I could do about that. But, uh, yeah, folks, I mean, uh, obviously I do uh, nip down to the, um, to the post box. In fact, I think I just sent out a fresh batch um, before heading out here. Dear Mark about that. Sailor Mike's got a big jet hoodie from summer 2020. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Oh, that's nice to have a local in it. Great people. What a nice fella. a little bit she looks a bit left side heavy there is that just me or uh, does that right hand engine look a little bit mm, blimey well I'll just fire her up and see what happens <laughs> uh, CK gaming how do I get the app uh, CK quite simply um, go to the app store and uh, search big jet TV live and um, it'll be right there free to download no silly in-store purchases or anything like that. Um, I think that's just an optical illusion, isn't it? Obviously, she's not um, right-hand heavy. It does look like it, though, doesn't it? Am I, is, that, is that just me? Look at that, Jilly. Jilly, look at that. Great. <laughs> does that right-hand engine, our, your right, its left, not look a little bit high? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I'm a stickler for level, man. Me, when I hang shelves and stuff like that. And, and that, if I if I just hung that shelf, I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, she looks like she's leaning to her... Right to me. Oh well, never mind. TCC saying definitely one side more heavy. It does look off. CK Gaming saying anyway. I'm sure she's fine. All we need to do is bring her this way, all the way over here. Come on, son. Oh, more level now. Auto systems on board the aircraft will level the fuel load out anyway, so it's not like, you know. Anyway, she's uh, she's firing up, and there is no better view in the world than that, is there? Right 
Yeah, possibly, yeah, possibly the ground is a little bit uh, uneven. Hello, look at this fella here, look. Let's just grab him, let's just grab him. Like a little... Don't look around the eyes, look into the eyes. Today from uh, members, four, three, two, one, start up sequence. Even more Ted Rogers uh, references. Basil Sims is not going to stick around for this last one, Basil. there. Now she looks fine. When you take the uh, the engines out of uh with that DC-6, it was enough. And we want this guy coming out right in front of us. What is it? Um, it's Atlas Air, isn't it? Yesterday, that's what happened. I don't see what the benefits are of going to the left-hand taxiway or um, the right-hand taxiway. Obviously, the, uh, the far taxiway is... Um, is less fuel burn, isn't it, really, at the end of the day. Just awake. Hang in there, England. Hang in there. Scary helicopter. send an envelope uh, with a self-addressed envelope in it, um, whereas other people send me like four-page essays on uh, their love for Big Jet TV, which is just wonderful. So nice and so humbling to get uh, some great um, messages from you folks. Anthony Roberts. So very grateful to you and Jill, uh, Jilly for this memor uh, memorable broadcast. Um, rest well tonight, I will, Anthony. I had a good night's sleep last night, I've got to say. At least six hours, here we go. She's ready to roll. Flaps and slats. Uh, Aztec 01, yes indeed, honouring those who serve. That was 737 that just went out with Alaska. What's that, GP? Discussing, folks, a lot of first-class members 
signing up today um, and uh, we don't want you to um, to miss out on tomorrow's show so um, is there any way we can today uh, go to the membership tab um, if they go there now though Jilly they're going to come out of the show okay no don't do it now folks don't do it now we'll do it we'll do it when when this aircraft is gone and we can um, let's come on son let's have you don't turn right oh he's going to turn right he's going to come on he's not is he? come on come on you could do it the um, reason for him having having this is why I booked oh Hammy Inc sounds like he's booked a bit of time off to watch these shows that's great isn't it way to uh, honor your uh, your CEO the question is what did he get when he left a gold watch CEO of a big organisation like that, you're going to get a mega payout on it. Retirement, no doubt, I'm guessing. And why not honour somebody who's uh, made a massive change to your organisation? There's three Kalita tails there. How nice is that? Beautiful.
when you're doing that in post, you have to speed that up because it takes so long. Here's the smile. Here's the smile. Look. Hey. <laughs> Brilliant, man. <laughs> Brilliant, man. I love that. I love that. What's that? Did the what? Oh. What is that then? Oh, what, what? I'll put your signature on the side of the van. <laughs> Chief Technical Officer. CTO. <laughs> you don't have to be old to have something named after you. Oh, right, okay. You're not handing your notice in, are you, Jilly? <laughs> Can you give me 30 days' notice at least? One an hour! What? Tell you what, that uh, we might not have had that one, but we might have this one. Oh no! no. Put his flashes on just then. What's that? It's oh, gone in the clouds. It's here, baby. Yes. Look, there he is. Oh, yeah. He's beautiful. There you go, mate. There you go. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, look at that, man. GP, you're looking at that. 
So do you have a uh -huh. YouTube account or some, something I can follow? Yeah, 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 Big Jack TV. Big Jack TV, oh, yeah. great. A couple of stickers, man. Thank you, glad to meet you here. Absolute pleasure, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you, and you. You got him, Jake, you got him. Look at him, very proud. That's the same one as I reckon that's a young bird, man. Oh, look, he's puffing his feathers out, look. Having a little stretch. <laughs> I think that's a young bird, man, because it's just because of the plumage. <laughs> Norwegian blue. Oh, hello. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, come on, okay. Chance number two. You want to stick around for this one, mate? LAX. Nice. Okay. Take two. I mean, I do like the Dash 8, don't get me wrong. I love the 747 Dash 8. But I just think that the, the older generation 747 with the... Um, the older generation engines is a little bit more um, entertaining, shall we say, because it's got the multi-bladed um, CF6 or uh, whatever engines it might be running. Whereas, um, of course, the um, the bigger fan-bladed Gen X engines are uh, a lot quieter, a lot less sort of like traditional. Still a beautiful aircraft, don't get me wrong, but um, okay, folks, this is it. This is it. This is the last one, and then you can all go to bed. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, gonna go and go for them then. Yeah. Mm, has he? And he's a golfer. Cool. There we go. Sean Michael, a very good day to you, sir. Maybe meet you on the first maybe might meet you on the first tee someday it's the one thing that i sort of like uh don't get the opportunity to do um with my mates who play golf because none of them like planes <laughs> none of them like planes so uh to have a round of golf with someone who likes planes or uh, enjoys flying um then uh, yeah i mean you don't want to talk about it like for, like from the first shot to the last shot you know Bev Brooks.
dispatched. saying there about the 747 of course Pan American were the uh, the operator that um, gave the uh, their demands um, to uh, to Boeing we need a bigger aeroplane was basically their demand and Boeing nearly um, at the end of the day Boeing nearly went bankrupt put everything on the line for the 747 and boy oh boy did it? Uh, did it pay it? Pay dividends for them? Obviously, it took them a long time to uh, to make make money, to make a profit. But um, oh look, the first truck, the first truck to give us uh, to give us grief. How about that? Okay, just looking at that. Um, just looking at that. Polar 747-8 that's uh, opposite, sort of pushing right the way back towards us, which is quite interesting. Um, that is the case. Oh, he's going to come out, turn right, and then straight ahead. Hello. <laughs> What's that? Hello. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Where's that? Piggy. Zima. Where's that? Where's that?
Andrew Paytech. Yes, classic proportions of the 747-400, especially um, the um, the freighter variant, because obviously she still um, sports the um, she still sports the original 100 variant front end on it. I think um, I think Boeing just kept that. Um, I mean, really, when you when you look at the uh, the whole reason why um, the the fairing is as it is, is because originally she was uh, she was um, on the on the drawing board as a as a as a double decker, um, but then partially the reason behind them not going with the double decker, I think, was because of the fact that they couldn't. Uh, they, the, the FAA or CAA or whoever it might be, um, you have to be able to um, get all passengers off within 90 seconds. And um, Boeing were very concerned that that might not be uh, reachable. Uh, ironically enough, Airbus, um, however many years later, managed to do it. But um, so they um, they reduced it down to a single deck. But um, by having that uh, high um cockpit position because of the fact that she was going to be a freighter with that nose load capability um, she uh, they had to obviously keep that cockpit up there but build a fairing behind it uh, for aerodynamic reasons um, and uh, and that's the way she stayed with that beautiful the hump the uh, the iconic hump of the 747 and of course all the freighters in order to maximize the um, the loading the, the load area inside the deck um, have maintained that uh, that single 100 style hump and um, and we're glad that they did and of course that's the way to distinguish uh, a true freighter uh, 747 freighter of course Uh, Marco Kane. Well, I think it was um, it was doubled up as the crew rest area. They just utilised it for crew rest. Um, of course, uh, they couldn't just chop the uh, the you know because of the position of the of the flight deck. They needed something behind it to uh, to to maximise the the the, the uh, um, airflow, the efficiency of it. Um, well, there's a C-17 Globemaster going in. Um, is this guy here holding his position because of that Globemaster, maybe? I think he is. Oh, no, he's not. Hold on. Yeah, he's long gone. Copy, GP. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I've told. I already told him that. I already told him that. So. Jesus just gone on so 
to. A little bit embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, all right, Stat CK. 20, what is it? What is it saying? 21 degrees in North Florida. We're up for some, innit? It's warmer where? What? What? Here where I am? Is it? Hey! <laughs> it's warmer here than it is in York. Oh! Look at us. Okay, folks, this is it. This is the sign off. Um, I'm just going to do a quick PTC for all new signed up first class members today. Uh, and it's really important that you, uh, that you listen to what I have to say. Um, of course, a lot of them have already gone to bed, but um, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> GP, what do they need to do? Just tell me what they need to do. Okay, so, yeah. So if you are a new member today with first class folks, really important that uh, we're gonna list it, okay? Uh, like, what, in the next hour or something, Jilly, or in the next couple of hours? Or what? Okay, we're going to list tomorrow's show. Um, so, um, really important that because we don't want you guys, you've just signed up to first class, and of course that means that you, along with all our first superclass members, are going to be watching tomorrow. So, um, listen, uh, go to the members tab. Is that right, Jilly? Uh, okay, so on on your on your phone, uh, on your phone, on YouTube, on your channel, slide along to the membership tab. Okay. 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 So you make sure that you signed in. Okay. Ignore what I just said. Okay. Okay. So what you need to do is open YouTube. You're already signed in. You need to make sure that you're signed in. Open YouTube. Go across to the membership tab. Hit that membership tab and... What then, Jilly? And it will be there. That's it. It's as simple as that. Just make sure... Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, you, you won't find it in the normal way um, that you did before uh, as a free view um, uh, or, as, or even, even as a premium member, I think. Um, you just need to make sure that you, you're signed in, number one, um, and that you, you go to, uh, to, to, to Big Jet TV on YouTube, and then uh, slide across to the membership tab and there you will see the feed right there it will be there also we'll be putting it out on the app won't we jilly and they can access it via the app okay we'll be doing it that way as well folks so if you haven't already done it make sure that you download the app um, so there's another way of you accessing it as well because when you get the notification um, you will uh, you will be able to access the show straight from there um, but that's it what a fantastic day folks what an unbelievable day thank you uh, 
to uh, Ted Stevens International uh, Airport here at Anchorage. Look at that. Follow me car. Look at him. Is that, is that just a hot use? Uh, with that, oh, it was just, he's just on a lower level now. Um, so yeah, what a fantastic day. We've really enjoyed your company. Um, thank you to everybody um, at Ted Stevens International. Um, thank you to all the folks. Thank you to Ian um, from, um, from UPS. No UPS ships in now. We're done there. Um, thank you to Megan. Um, and uh, all the crew down there at Ted Stevens uh, for uh, giving us that wonderful access out onto the roof. That's not something that's available to any Tom, Dick or Harry folks. Um, there's uh, filming applications that need to be made and uh, you need to go through the right channels and obviously it's only open to uh, journalists and, um, and yeah, so um, we're very grateful to them. Thank you to everybody who came and said hello to me today um, and we'll be back tomorrow morning folks for uh, for more of this amazing stuff and of course I do have one more position that I'm going to show you tomorrow as well which is right at the far end of the runway where they literally come hammering towards you no nothing in the way no um, no bushes trees lampposts trucks you can throw anything at it it's not going to happen mate uh, we've got um, unrestricted views straight down the runway tomorrow as well so lots more action to bring in hopefully I'm just hoping where I think I think to be honest with you I, mean, I know we had that DC3 today didn't we hey eh? what about that DC3 that we had um, what a beautiful example a bit of a long pointy nose on her but we'll forgive her for that you know I think that's a, um, a modified radar inside the nose which um, was maybe something that she had to have done in order to uh, uh, stay flying um, but or reach her certification status or whatever it might be gonna get this uh, Polar 747 going out before we say goodbye folks um, but yeah uh, such a huge thank you uh, to Mia and also Darren as well great to see you guys I know if you're you may be watching now uh, great company and um, what a sandwich I've got to say what a sandwich I know Mia was quite jealous of us eating that sandwich um, but um, yeah what a fantastic thing uh, to uh, to be doing what we did today. Um, yeah, yeah, just fantastic. <laughs> Sandwich. What's this? Um, Hammerdown Gaming uh, is a new member. Hammerdown Gaming, if you just missed what I said, folks, um, make sure that tomorrow, uh, when you get the notification, if you're using the app, make sure you download the download the app. Easy for you to say. Uh, download the app now um, to avoid any disappointment, because we want to make sure that um, because of the time the time differences as well, uh, the time zones, um, that uh, when we do go live, that uh, you are around and about and getting your notifications. We don't want you to miss out. Um, especially as you're supporting us as well. Um, and it will be another great day here. Uh, to all our Freeview um, viewers, thank you very much indeed. And of course, to all our wonderful premium members as well, thank you for your support. We cannot thank you enough. Um, and uh, hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, we will be back. I'll be back in London on Saturday. Whether I'm gonna do a show on Sunday, I don't know, folks. It. it uh, it, it, it would be very odd for me to not do a show on, uh, on, on Sunday. Um, maybe I'll do something later on in the afternoon if I do something. Uh, it's just obviously with a 24-hour journey, trust me, it is 24 hours from door to door. Um, so it's, it's very, very tiring. It's going to take me a couple of days uh, to adjust and get myself back to, um, to full fitness um, but I will still, in my heart, want to be out there uh, on top of that van or on top of that balcony or wherever I might be at London Heathrow to, uh, to join up with you. Because I miss you. I'll be honest. I'm going to say it. I miss you. You know, uh, I miss the planes. I miss being out there. But I miss you guys. I really do. Um, you're all my friends at the end of the day. 
and uh, and it's great to have your company. And I know Jilly will be wondering what the hell she's going to do on Sunday. But mind you, Jilly needs to, don't forget, Jilly also needs to uh, recover from all of this because um, she's, uh, am I just talking to a load of dead space at the moment or something? It's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Get on with it, will you? <laughs> but really, I do miss you guys, man. I do miss you. That's why I don't. I mean, it's not the case that I can't have holidays. I don't want to go on holiday because I just, I'd be twiddling me thumbs if I was sitting on a beach somewhere. Here we go. GP and that's a wrap.